The first Titanic movie came out just a month after the sinking and starred one of the survivors, a 22-year-old actress named Dorothy Gibson. Gibson was sailing to New York on the Titanic to star in a new production when disaster struck. At the time of the collision on April 14, 1912, she had just finished playing cards with a group of passengers in the first class lounge. She ran back to the cabin she shared with her mother, and they escaped in the first lifeboat to be launched. Upon returning to New York, a producer she was reportedly having an affair with encouraged her to do a movie about the disaster. For the final scene, she even wore the same clothes she was rescued in the night of the sinking. The movie, called Saved from the Titanic, was released on May 16, 1912, just one month after the disaster. While the short film was initially a success, it was heavily criticized for commercializing the sinking, which killed some 1,500 people. Not long after the film's release, Dorothy Gibson, who was still clearly traumatized by the disaster, had what was described as a mental breakdown. Saved from the Titanic would be the last movie she ever made. The film was lost in the studio fire in 1914, and today, only a few publicity stills remain.